what's going on everybody welcome back to t3g and today we're just doing a real quick video as the title says we're talking about free software and how you can get it and what you can get uh, there's a lot of software out there that's you need to pay for but then of course there is also a lot of software that you can get without having to pay for it and we're going to do this real quick and i do want to say that most people uh, or a good portion of the people watching this might already know this wow i apologize for that let's go ahead and get rid of that and that all right so a lot of people might already know this but I do want to make sure that the people that don't also know this so real quick the first one that we're gonna do uh, as you can see I have a fresh install the reason I have a fresh install Windows is because my system had a little hiccup with the graphics card I thought maybe it was the OS didn't realize uh, not that I didn't realize, but at the end realized that it wasn't the OS or any software issues, but it was actually the hardware that was the problem. So we have a fresh OS right now going and I need to put back all the software that I have. And it's real easy. Now I already have the install file that I want, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. So when you first load up a system or let's say you bought a pre-built system, you're not gonna have everything you want on there. So what you wanna do is, first off, you wanna get rid of a lot of the things that are on there. Uh, and that'll be a different video. But the software that I always recommend to everybody that I know is the following software. Now, a lot of you might have heard of this website. Like I said, this is for the people that have it. This website you wanna go to, and it'll be in the description below, is nightnight.com. Now, right now I'm using Edge because I don't have any other options. Now, what's great about Night Night, it gives you all the options for free software that is available, plus all your online storage and stuff like that. This is the stuff that I'm going to get that I don't mind downloading and installing into the main drive. So your main C drive, your main Windows drive. The only problem with Night Night, it doesn't allow you to pick where you want to install the stuff. It just installs it. Um so that's that's the only issue with that so that can be a little if you're one of those people that doesn't necessarily want to install on the main drive but you want to install install the items on an alternate drive you might not want to go with this option but all this stuff that i'm picking i don't care if it's on the main drive there's a lot of other stuff that i don't want on the main drive but this stuff i don't care so for first we have web browsers i get all three i get chrome opera and firefox the reason for this is if Chrome for some reason wor isn't working, I'll use Firefox. If for some reason Chrome and Firefox aren't working, I'll use Opera. I use Edge as literally the last, last absolute possible thing to use. I don't care for it. And, uh, and you know, I know they try to make a lot of differences. I'm not saying it's bad in uh, necessarily options that it provides, but I don't care for it. So it is the last thing that I will use. Now, there are certain utilities that I like to use. One is TeamViewer. TeamViewer allows me to access my computers from anywhere in the world, basically. As long as these computers are turned on and have the internet active, I can access them. Obviously, you do need to have your password and your name and all that to make sure you can access them. And of course, TeamViewer has to be on. If you turn it off, then you won't have access. Image Burn allows you to burn ISO files to CDs and stuff like that. So that's always a good thing to have. CD Burner XP. If you don't have a CD burning software or a DVD burning software, CD Burner is the way to go. I've tried it out. I like it a lot. I haven't tried out TerraCopy or Real VNC, but uh, the CD Burner XP is very easy to use, very simple, and it works really well. The other one is Revo. Now I go back and forth. Uh, sometimes I download both. One of them is not on here. Revo is basically a really badass way of uninstalling software and getting rid of every possible component you can possibly get rid of for that software. Sometimes uninstalling through the Windows uninstaller doesn't always remove everything for that program. So this Revo does. Uh, I use that. Now you can also get C Cleaner or CC Cleaner. That is a very popular software. I use that for cache removals and stuff like that, but it does also have the capabilities that Revo does to uninstall programs and stuff like that. So those are the utilities that I get. I don't get any of the other stuff like Launchy, uh, Windowsstat, uh, Directory Statistics. Yeah, I don't get any of this stuff. You can look into it if you like, but that's not what I go for messaging i do get skype because i do use it i don't do pidgin which i haven't ever used to be honest i don't get thunderbird this is just a uh, email reader that basically mozilla the guys from firefox make 
I don't use it. I use the Windows one. I'm perfectly fine with it. Trillion. Now, Trillion does have a free version, but I believe the free version isn't as good anywhere. And I believe... Because there is a paid version for it. And I, from what I understand, it's not as good. And AIM, I haven't used AIM in a long time. Now, there is compression software. Windows 1 is pretty good, uh, but I use 7-Zip. WinRare does have a free version, but their paid version will allow you to do everything. 7-Zip will allow you to do everything for free. So that's why I get 7-Zip. Never used P-Zip, so I don't really care. <laughs> I do get iTunes uh, mainly because there are certain things that I have on iTunes, um, so that is why I get it. I'm not necessarily, it's not my primary software to use for playing music or videos, but it is, I do have some things on there like digital downloads that I got for free for buying a DVD and some music and stuff like that on there. So that's the only reason I download iTunes, but if you want it, you can download it from here and install it. VLC is the program that I use mainly for watching videos and DVDs and listening to music and stuff like that. Now you do have a bunch of other ones here. I don't necessarily use any of them. I used to use WinApp a long time ago, but I really just don't care with VLC. I'm perfectly happy. Now, Audacity is great. If you're a person that's looking to record audio through your computer to try to do like voiceovers and stuff like that, everybody uses this program. It's free and fairly easy to use. There's really no issues at all in using it. K-Lite Codecs, they're just codecs that provides your computer with additional codecs to allow you to play other items out there that might not be able to be played without those codecs, so that's why I install it. CCP is uh, another de video decoder that does the kind of similar thing that the codecs do. I don't do Spotify because I don't care for Spotify. I don't use Spotify. Yeah, so I don't do Spotify. I don't know what GOM is. Never used it. Never tried it. I guess it's a video player according to disc. Never have done it. I don't do Media Monkey. I do do Handbrake. Handbrake is a very good software if you want to convert uh one set of format files video files to another set of format video files and i believe i can do audio as well runtimes i always get java 8 i pick all of them uh several light you need for netflix i don't know if that's changed yet but you do still need it i believe air shockwave now these might not install if you don't need them but usually they do the net one most likely you'll have a newer version if you're wanting Windows 10, but I still select it just in case. Developer tools, you can honestly, if you're a developer, you know what to do. You're probably not even watching this video. So, uh, but that does have a bunch of different developer tools if you need it. Now for imaging, I use paint.net out of this entire thing. I, know I tried GIMP, not a really big fan of it. Uh, I haven't tried the... Uh, friend view i haven't tried any of these other ones to be honest paint i have gimp i have i like paint over gimp <clears throat> now for documents if you don't have microsoft office right and you don't want to pay for microsoft office because it ain't cheap it's over usually over 100 bucks depending which edition you get libre office is the great next thing um it essentially will open any microsoft office file that you create excel word i believe even uh uh the one i haven't used in forever point 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 whatever it's called powerpoint there it is uh so basically any of those will work with LibreOffice. so that's why i pick it up open office used to be good uh, but then i realized LibreOffice also works with works microsoft works that software that nobody has used probably in a long time but there are some people that have old files that are from works and libre will read it where open office will not um, i used to get pdf creator but since windows 10 has a built-in one i don't use it anymore but you can pick it up if you'd like i actually do have it on the installer that i have already i do still have it in there so it will install uh, but you can pick it up if you need to create pdfs this is a great software to use i like it uh, there are other ones here i haven't tried those but pdf creator is a really good one now for security this is kind of where it gets big a lot of people pay for security you can get free security and here's the ones i recommend avg used to be good avg as of while now sucks and i do not recommend it uh, it used to be really good but i don't know what they did but whatever it is they've gone to a crappier situation and so i don't care for it avast highly recommend i love it i enjoy it there's nothing i can say more it's a great free software and you can get their purchased version for a year 
which doesn't cost a lot and provides you with additional good features but you can use the free one for any kind of antivirus that you need also malware bytes is a great program as well this is another program for any kind of malware issues that you are running into you can scan for it. it's a really good program i don't use uh any of these other ones i believe the dolly board does use the super anti-spyware i do not um, but these are also available i haven't tried any of the other ones except avast avg and malware bytes like i said avg i do not recommend avast and malware bytes definitely now here are other things that are optional I do not get these because I like installing them at different locations. Uh, you do have file sharing like QBitTorrent and Emule, which I believe are both torrent style file sharing uh, setups. Uh, I don't use those. I actually use a different torrent client. So that's not the ones I use. So I don't care for those, but you can pick them up if you're looking for torrent style clients. Other things that you have is Evernote, which is uh, like online notes. And, you know, honestly, at this point, you don't need it because both Mac and Microsoft have free one. Uh, Microsoft is OneNote, and I believe uh, that Mac one is like notes. Uh, Google Earth, if you really want it on your system, I don't care for it, so I don't. Steam, I install on a different uh, drive so I don't put it with this installer because I want to in install it and like I said this installer doesn't allow you to install it on a different drive I don't know what key pass is to uh, password manager well there you go uh, I don't use it I don't care to use it uh, you can get it if you want this can be installed on your main drive not really an issue I don't use it so I don't care uh, local file search engine for everything I don't use and never have never probably will screen reader once again never use and never will here's another ones that I install on different drives Dropbox Google Drive and OneDrive I don't use SugarSync nor do I use Mozzie uh, but you can check them out and see if you like them but i would install these separately because usually storage drives online storage drives do also use your internal storage to have availability both on your computer and online so if you want to pass access on your computer it does download them to your computer and that's why i don't do it because usually i have a lot of files in these um storage spaces and i don't want them to be taken up on my main uh, system drive so that's basically it so let's go over it one more time chrome opera firefox team viewer image burn cd burner revo skype itunes voc audacity k -like codex cccp and handbrake all the run times paint.net like i said that's the one i prefer because it's kind of similar to photoshop and then LibreOffice if you don't have Microsoft Office. And then, of course, Avast and Midware Bytes. So those are the ones all in 7-zip. Did I not mention? Yeah, for compression, 7-zip. So now you click Get Your Night Night. This will come up in a, if you're using Edge until you get Chrome. This will come up down here if it's Save or Save As. I always do Save As so I can choose where I want to download it. Uh, and then, as you can see, I have my own downloads folder that I hit Save on a separate hard drive. Now, I'm not going to hit Save because I already have it on here. But you can hit Save and that will save it. Now, why is Night Night great? Well, the reason it's great is when you run the installer like so... When you run the installer, you can run this every month and it'll make sure that all that software is up to date. Always, always make sure that your software on your systems is up to date. Otherwise, it's most likely not going to work properly or it's not going to do the things you've seen it do on other systems because they were updated and you're not. So what's great about Nine Night is all that software that you just saved and it's going to install it's going to keep updated if you run it once a month run it once a month usually google chrome has an update usually firefox has an update usually LibreOffice has an update the only ones that i've seen it doesn't update is malware bytes and also uh, avast those you have to do within the software that's the only thing that i've seen night night cannot update but it will update vlc everything else it'll update cd burner all that so run it once a month after you do the initial install to keep your software up to date now once that is all done then you're going to want to download another bit of software and this one 
is I've mentioned it before I've talked about it before it's free editing for videos if you're looking to create videos and one of your excuses is oh you know I don't have the right software for it you absolutely do this is one of the best free software that I have ever seen now the only thing I will say is you do need a pretty good GPU to run it um, how can I put it to run it smoothly uh, because the playback of the video that you're trying to edit is not always smooth or certain things can't be done as smooth but I mean it's still usable on any system it's just more of the playback slash playing of the edited bit uh, is is not as smooth so that's the only problem so like an 8 gig GPU like a new RX 470 that you can get in an 8 gigabyte version that'll be really good for something like this the more memory the better it'll play with the raw files now the software I'm talking about is hit film and then 4 is the newest one now Express I believe is the free one now they do have 4 options but what I do is I just search hit film and you will go to their official site once you go here they do have the pro HitFill pro 2017 which does cost money but obviously if you're doing this you're not looking to spend any kind of money so what you want to do is uh, you want to do the free version which I do click on the menu and then I do hit film express uh, so fully operational completely free cut mix and make it go boom great film start here and they've they've got some cool like they'll show you here some of the projects that were used with hit film to create them and they have a lot of cool software or they have a lot of cool effects that they provide with the free software now you can purchase the version later on and they'll provide you with crazy amounts of effects and what's great about it it's the first software that i've seen that's very very similar to the processing of adobe premiere and adobe premiere isn't cheap and definitely not free so if you ever for some reason you're like you know what hit film it has been great for a free software but you know everybody's using adobe i want to go to adobe it's going to be a pretty easy transition from a hit film to adobe so that is why i recommend it so basically what you're going to do is once i said uh, you click on the menu in the upper right corner you do hit film express it takes you to this page hit get started now it's going to tell you all this stuff here uh, and once you scroll down i believe or actually you just click on my apologies you hit get hit film that was sitting at the bottom here so right here at the bottom it says get hit film express that actually explains it all you do have to share it so it's not a demo we're giving you a professional quality video editing and effects software for free ready when you are to get your copy of hitmo express tell your friends so you do have to share so whatever you have twitter facebook or google plus you click any one of those it will tell you the system requirements so looks like the minimum system requirements for hitfilm which it is also mac uh, supported 10.9 for mac windows 7 or higher for windows and then it does give you technical specifications so if you really wanted to go a little higher on what you might need uh, this will tell you everything that you are required to have um, is it gonna is it gonna say is it gonna say supported formats system requirements thank you uh, so 1.2 gigabytes of free hardware it says intel core i3 i5 i7 or amd equivalent 4 gigabytes of ram and graphics processor with 512 megabytes now 512 megabytes is not bad it does say 2 gigabytes is the recommended uh, or more is recommended uh, I would definitely say 8 gigabytes is going to be the sweet spot of everything running really smooth for the video playback when you're editing uh, but otherwise I definitely 100% recommend HitFilm 4 and there's one more bit of software that I want to recommend are you a person that likes gaming are you a person that like man I wish I could stream but I can't afford XSplit or the free XSplit limits me too much well you're most likely some of you have heard of this some of you have not OBS and that's literally what I just said OBS O Bravo S as in Sam just search that it is the first one that's going to come out open broadcaster software you click on his download OBS studio it's going to offer you options if you have OS X 10.8.5 or higher you can download it. if you have Linux you can hire it. and if you have Windows 7 you can hire uh, download it and that is literally what I'm using right now to record this video so Windows 7 plus OS X 10.8 and 
it's going to do everything that you can possibly want it to do for streaming. You can have your webcam, you can have screen uh, capture, you can have game capture, you can have mic capture, it, everything you want. You can use, as you can see, I have our logo in the bottom right. It will do it all it will do everything xsplit will do and it's free absolutely free now you do have the option to donate to these guys uh you know for them providing it to you you can give them a little bit of money to help them out to continue to be able to release this for you just like anything else in this world it's not easy or cheap to create this stuff it takes a lot of time and a lot of people have to work and so they do this as much as they can while doing other things so if you want them to do this and keep this updated consistently and all the time then you know if you can donate if you can't it's understandable it is free but just saying the donate option is there but yeah this can do almost anything and that is perfect so there it is guys if you need any kind of software for anything that you might be interested in if it's video editing if it's photo editing which paint.net will do pretty decently and it's free on nine night and it's free in general but on nine night you can get it and then uh, also if you want to stream you have it all that is all the software that you're going to need to start up now of course over time you're going to find other things that you enjoy but this is the software that i would recommend and it's free you don't have to pay a dime and you can start using it right away if you guys have enjoyed the video please make sure to hit that like button make sure to subscribe and leave any comments that you might have if you have any kind of questions or anything about what i went through or maybe if there's a software you've heard about but you're not sure about it maybe we have heard about it also and we can provide you with more information please leave the comments below we would love to interact with you guys and let you guys you know answer whatever we can whatever is possible that's what we'll do but yeah uh, make sure to leave any kind of comments if you can once again like subscribe check out our uh, description for any kind of links for any of this stuff that i talked about it will be in the description and that's it we'll see you guys in the next one